Greetings. Hi, I'm Doug Crawford. I did a special project for VCF East uh, 10, and it went along with my spreadsheet exhibit of uh, the historical beginnings of spreadsheets and VisiCalc and um, the explosion of the killer app that happened from there. And I had a special part that I cobbled together uh, using a Cosmac VIP right here, a real one. Um, and the idea was, what if uh, in 1977, when folks were experimenting with things like this Cosmac VIP and single board computers, um, which were you know affordable and widespread, uh, what if someone that had one of those had the idea of an interactive spreadsheet and cobbled together a demonstration of a concept? And I thought it would look like what I'm about to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to load this up. And while it's loading, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it was done. And then we'll show it to you. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I, th I thought some folks might be interested in seeing the, the whole exercise here. I'm going to load the code from a WAV file, so which comes in over the cassette interface audio. So I'm going to tell this Cosmac VIP, which is sitting in its machine language monitor here, to load at the beginning of memory. So I'm going to put in four zeros. And I'm going to hit B, which tells it to load from cassette. And now I'm going to tell it how many blocks to load, which I enter in E, and that's uh, 15 256K uh, byte blocks. This is running in 4K of memory. Be aware. 4 thousand bytes of memory. All right, there's the E. So now it's ready to uh, load code. I'm going to tell the WAV file player to play. And while that's loading, I'm going to show you Octo, which is the facility that I wrote the code in. It is quite cool. It's, uh, it's by a guy named John Ernest. And if you just Google on Octo and Chip 8, Octo chip eight, you'll you'll come across this pretty quickly, and it's a facility that you can write code in in a high level language that gets translated to chip eight. So here's the code, and here's the translated bytes down below at the bottom. Uh, so I'll page through a little bit of this so you can kind of get to see how big this this was. Uh, you can write very nice block structured code. And, and it all gets turned into um, chip eight code. So it has a uh, chip eight interpreter built in. So when you run it, it will start running the, the code. And that's my first screen. So uh, after I was done writing this code, I grabbed the bytes out of the, the hex, uh, hexadecimal ASCII stuff out of here, wrote it to a text file, and then I um, brought it into Emma 2, the emulator, and this is now loaded with an image of image of that program, and I can start it, and we'll see the first screen come up there. So that's emulating an actual 1802 code, as opposed to just a chip 8 interpreter. And uh, so, now we'll see the real thing, which has been loaded. We got the final load address showing up here on the screen, which is what it's supposed to do when it loads properly. I'm going to run it. So we'll reset and run up here. And here we go. So the idea was would be that this might be a uh, demonstration of, of the concept of a spreadsheet showing that Cosmic Calc could have been a reality. You'd need rows and columns demonstrated for a spreadsheet. You'd need formulas. You'd need cells that you could navigate around through. And here we are navigating through the cells. And then you'd be, need to be able to change numbers and recalculate. That's the big thing, the big innovation. So say we change this 12 to a 3. 2 times 3 is 6, sum is 60, change the 3 to a 1, 9, sum is 42. So that's recalculation. That's basically a spreadsheet. 
I guess, not seen ever before on a Cosmac. I'm hoping. And there we go. So that's the idea. However, it wasn't just a screen demo. You might think that it was all just a canned screen. I, so let's say you wanted to really demonstrate this to investors of how it would really look. So in fact, you can use the keypad to run this. Uh, the uh, A and B keys are left and right. The D and E are up and down. F is an enter key and C is a break in and out of the demo. So I'm gonna hold the C button down. We get a chirp. I'm gonna let go and when I let go, we'll be in interactive mode. And right now the lower right cell is selected and now I can move that around. I'll go up and I'll go over. And yeah, it's limited, but um, these fields in the middle would be like data entry fields, the numbers, and these would be formulas. The formulas are not really implemented. You can't enter in a, a whole formula. But when you finish the data entry, it does the calculations, and that's canned. Um, but the data entry is uh, discrete and actually stored in cells. So the three I could change manually to, say, a four. And I could hit Enter, and it'll recalculate that line, four times nine. And then uh, the sum of all this is the bottom. Boom. And there you have it. It uses only byte math, so you can't go over 255 and anything. And um, let's see, let's change another one. Over, down, over. I can enter in up to two numbers. So I'll put in um, 13 instead of 12. One and three. And enter. How about that? An interactive spreadsheet on a Cosmac VIP. And so that was it. People kind of liked it. And, you know, the idea was, you know, if, if after seeing this, would you have invested money in this concept? And, and might, it, might it be that if the elf had kind of demonstrated this and then quickly expanded into more memory and drives in a cost-effective fashion, maybe it could have been a bigger platform. Who knows? Stranger things could have happened. There you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun writing it. Um, I will link to the OctoCode on the web uh, and, you know, in the YouTube video. And uh, have fun. I hope you all try to run it and poke around in the code. It's pretty cool to see what you can do with such a high level and, and high level language and bring that down into a 4K um, old machine like this uh, Cosmac VIP. Thanks for watching. Bye.